What's up guys and welcome to episode number 110 of career mode or 110, 110, what's the, what's the best way to say that? I think 110, I don't think it matters to be honest. Uh, yeah, one episode 110 of career mode and uh, of course in the last episode you saw us end the episode off with a penalty shootout win against Arsenal at the Emirates uh, with a young side so of course coming uh, to the Emirates in the league uh, just a few days later meant that we were uh, fully rested for the game whereas Arsenal were not so that being said I knew it would be uh, I wouldn't say an easy game but um, definitely a bit easier for us because um, like I say Arsenal pretty much had their first side playing uh, in that Capital One Cup game and they lost and uh, we had a complete backup side playing so with that being said I felt very confident we'll win this game and uh, Cavani gave us the lead there of a simple header from a corner but unfortunately the hair makes the wrong decision here to come for it and Theo Walcott uh, puts Theo what? Theo Walcow? What did I just say? Theo Walcow? <laughs> uh, Theo Walcott makes it 1-1 and this is Jack Wilshire here with some nice dribbling brilliant stuff from the former Arsenal man but uh, unfortunately his shot is to post that would be really nice if Wilshire would have scored against his former club but uh, yeah still 1-1 at this stage but uh, that being said this was Gareth Bale picking the ball up here taking on Kieran Gibbs uh, goes down left hand side plays the ball to Wilshire and Wilshire unselfishly gives the ball away gives up his chance his moment to score against his former club to give the ball to Eunice Belanda who's got the simplest of finishes the Moroccan does not miss the win streak in the league continues it doesn't look like we're going to get beat at all does it a simple finish uh, by Belanda means we win the game by two goals to one so absolute delight with that win and like I said I felt very confident after uh, resting all the players for the midweek game against Arsenal you know that we, we took pretty much their first team 120 minutes they're always going to be a bit knackered in that game but uh, yeah uh, the following game was against Red Bull Salzburg of Austria um, God, I'm going to stop with these accents uh, against Austria uh, here uh, of course in Salzburg and uh, yeah he <laughs> I just said I was going to stop with the accents what am I doing but uh, yeah, here you see Gareth Bale win a free kick straight away. And I'll tell you what, man, I've said about a thousand times before, Gareth Bale on this game, if you play career mode, you have to get the Welshman. He is absolutely unstoppable. And in this game in particular, he literally just went ham and cheese toasty. He was incredible. And uh, this was Bale getting us off to the perfect start with virtually the first attack, the first shot on target. Bale makes it 1-0 to Liverpool. And here you see with his right foot, his weaker right foot on the half volley, such a difficult sort of height for him to strike the ball at. I mean, Salzburg may have given him the ball away, uh, ball away, but even so, such a difficult height for him to strike at. And I tell you what, that is just a perfect half volley. So good, right into the top corner. He just angled that so well to make it 2-0 to Liverpool but uh, Salzburg trying to hit back here passing the ball around really nicely they played some really good football in this game and uh, here you see uh, they come through here with uh, a nice piece of dribbling shot gets blocked but unfortunately for us typical deflection luck and uh, Alan has the easiest of finishes to make it um what was it at this stage? 2-1 to Liverpool, yes, that's right. And uh, here you see Gareth Bale taking on his man. Like I say, his agility is incredible. Burst of pace, exceptional. Skits past his man, absolutely amazing. With his right foot, his second goal with his right foot. He's just too good, man. I mean, he's, you've got to sign him. He's absolutely incredible. With the highest rated player in the team. And uh, just an absolute monster, absolute animal. Uh, yeah, 3-1 to Liverpool at this stage. And uh, here you see Red Bull Salzburg hitting back. I think it's, it's uh, Mane or Main or however you pronounce that. I'd say Mane. Uh, makes it 3-2. Uh, Salzburg weren't going to lie down. They were playing really well. But uh, here you see once again Gareth Bale down the right hand side. Taking on his man. And not only had Bale scored three goals already. He also won a penalty. He just could not be stopped. Poor old Salzburg man. He just couldn't cope with the, uh, the Welsh wing wizard. I mean I could have fielded ten dustbins and Gareth Bale. I'm pretty sure he would have won that game. He was playing so well. But uh, Felipe Marcano stepped up. And I usually give penalties uh, to Cavani of course. Uh, or Balotelli if they're on the field. And I know one of them was. I think it was Balotelli. But that being said when Marcano's on the field. I've got to give him the penalty because it means you can get easy attribute, uh, attributes and uh, yeah that made it 4-2 uh, but uh, like I say uh, Red Bull Salzburg were not lying down that was uh, Jansha I think that's how you pronounce that making it 4-3 uh, and Salzburg were coming really hard here but that being said we went on the counter classic counter attack Casemiro finds Balotelli he finds Bale and um, yeah I wonder what's going to happen next yeah Gareth Bale it's 4 on the keeper but fuck, uh, fuck the cutback Bale's going to finish himself he's just too good it was the Gareth Bale 
shells were as usual. Four goals for Gareth Bale, one for Marcano from the spot, the perfect game for us. Of course, Bale developing so nicely. Looks like he might go up to a 92 soon, that'll be incredible. And of course, some easy attributes for Marcano as well. Um, of course, back from injury and uh, playing games regularly now. Because, uh, you know, Marcano, we really do need to get him as many attributes as possible. He's, he's only 16, of course, but if we can get him into the 80s by the time he's 20, that will be incredible. There's no doubt in my mind he'll get into the 90s for sure. But uh, that being said, it's the first of the month, so here is a squad report. And uh, Casemiro now an 86, absolutely incredible to think he's a bench player. Balotelli's also an 88, and he's a bench player, incredible, isn't it? But uh, Wilshire a 90, I've now got three players uh, a 90 or above, which is great. Uh, obviously, those players being Bale, Cavani, and Wilshire. And uh, also, Marcano has gone up to a uh, 75, so if he was on Ultimate Team, he'd be a gold now. That is awesome, he's only 16 years old, but uh, like I say, the, the future's looking very bright for this team. And, uh, yeah, the current squad is insane as well. But uh, the next game was against QPR at Anfield. And, of course, we've been on a crusade in the league yet to uh, slip up in any game. We've won every single game. But uh, QPR, actually a really good side on this game. And, uh, of course, the money is really helping them. And uh, here you see Jack Wilshere playing the ball over the top to Gareth Bale here. Bale down the right-hand side. Unfortunately, despite the perfect game against Salzburg, he couldn't open his account there. And uh, he smashed the ball wide at the post. But this was QPR giving the ball away. Jack Wilshere plays the ball into Eunice Belander, who takes a shot. Unfortunately, he curls it onto the bar. And his rebounded header is easily saved by Kenneth Vermeer. But this was Bale with a long throw into the box. Uh, Vermeer goes up for the uh, catch, gets nowhere near it. The ball eventually gets cleared to Belander. And the Moroccan has the easiest of finishes to make it. Liverpool 1, Queen's Park Rangers 0. And uh, like I say, they, they were all over the place. But that being said, QPR here win the ball back. Maxime Gonlons. Don't know what I was trying to do with Gonlons there. Gave the ball away. And unfortunately for us, Michael Ngu came forward here. Great tackle by Kurt Zuma. But unfortunately, a quick little pass inside to Esteban Granero, who makes it 1 1 at this stage. We were determined to keep the win streak alive. Just keep on going and keep getting wins there off and there on. This is Cavani going through 1-1 one -on -one and for some reason I just cannot finish when I go 1-1 one -on -one in late game situations. Got such bad composure. Uh, hit the post. This was Balotelli uh, then getting saved by Kenneth Vermeer. Ball goes out for a corner. Desperate to try and keep this win streak alive. Belanda takes it and Zuma goes up for the header. It hits the post and it's cleared away. It wasn't to be. The game finished 1-1 and unfortunately for us the win streak ends there. But that being said we are still unbeaten in the league and that will do us nicely. But uh, as always guys a big 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 thank you for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you could leave a like that would be great. And I'll see you for the next episode very soon.